my first ever lamb chop recipe and it was amazing let's get together and let's start i bought this lamb chops for 5307 if i got it right but now we're gonna cut it up and slice it into a chop that's why they call it lamb chop because you slice it into a chop i don't know i'm just saying stuff and this lamb chop was wrapped in this fancy stuff this is an australian something i don't know so now we're gonna cook it to perfection this is our first time remember but just trust the process and i'm going away just one solid ingredient and i'm watching a lot of videos and everybody keeps saying that you should do the honey what honey lemon some honey garlic lemon lamb chops but i'm going with my guts and i'm going easier and this lamb chops came with ton of fat that i wasn't ready for so we had to Put our muscles together and the only way to cut lamb chops is make sure you cut it to the end and use a sharp knife and just hammer it one or two to separate the bone that connects everything together the ribs together there's a bone so make sure you do that and that's what i'm doing i went ahead and sliced all my lamb and each lamb rib i think they calculated it comes in a pack so that's what we're working with and now that we got it all cut up we're gonna cut up all the fat on there don't be upset if we cut a little bit of meat because this lamb chop is full of fat and next time i'm gonna go to the butcher instead of buying to the store so stay tuned with me and we cut all the fat and you know that you can make lamb fat oil with it so i wasn't gonna throw it out i'm just gonna keep it and just put it on a lower heat to simmer it now we all done look at the fat and look at the fresh meat so we did it so now I'm gonna put it in my bowl to make sure I'm gonna pat, pat it right. Oh, I'm sorry, pat it right. I wash it, so I'm gonna pat it right. I didn't show it, but we're gonna pat it right and we're gonna start seasoning it with some basic seasoning. My first season is adobo and this, um, what's it called? I don't remember the name, lemon pepper and one of my smoke whatever that comes with it this is like smoke everything it is good just trust your judgment this is a smoke chili smoke stuff garlic whatever was missing in there so just trust your judgment and make sure you use high season to season this because it has some high tolerant smell that you just want to get rid of it and i went in with my adobo i use adobo for everything so make sure you do the same thing and we're gonna go ahead and put our lemon pepper this tastes good with salmon but it goes perfectly fine with lamb chops because all the videos that i seen i seen people using lamb chops so i didn't i wasn't shy so i added more oil more garlic does not hurt and i'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of african heat to it and i wore my gloves so you just want to keep massaging this stuff you want to make sure every single lamb chop is covered or coated in a juice that's what we want we just want to cover it up with all the season that we put on and this season is not too much you can do more it's not too much don't listen to me you're not overdoing it listening to me you're you're not overdoing it i'm just saying you can both do that you can listen to me or not listen to me but you're not doing too much it's not gonna be salty or anything you didn't see me put in salt because every part of the season that i put in has sodium in it so we're not about to add some salt this is like a quick dinner fix it was ready under 40 minutes and i love it and did you know that your lamb chop does not have to cook for like two 20 minutes it only has to be cooked for 10 minutes and you got the perfect lamb chop because they are thinly sliced and they're skinny and you didn't want to overcook it and if you're someone who likes it medium right you can cook it in under eight minutes or six minutes so pro tip and this recipe requires a skillet but i didn't have a skillet even though i had it but cleaning it up is the worst nightmare that i can think about so i just marinate everything and i'm gonna put it away you can put it in the refrigerator for 10 minutes but you can put it on the side for at least 20 minutes but i put it for 10 minutes because we need to get this food done and now our hot pan is ready just how i said you can make it in a skillet but i'm making it in the pan that i use for everything and we're gonna put it and i put it on it medium flame not too high not too low just you get me so i can get the the color on it and it's, it can still cook better i don't know what i'm talking about but i'm talking so i just went ahead and arranged everything make sure you have enough paint i just wanted to fit as much as i can fit in there so i made room you gotta make room you gotta make you gotta push you gotta push people out of the way and just make room for your stuff so I made room for whatever that I was going to do and to make sure every single thing fits in there. Just push them, push them and make room for the other guy. 
and that's what I did and I made it cook on each side for five minutes not gonna lie guys pro tip put on the perfect heat and just take your eyes off you can set up a timer whatever you want but I have the timer right above my stove so I just put it up for five minutes on both sides and it was the most the best juicy let me show you on the next clip this is the next clip and I'm gonna flip it and it is looking good. It's just looking like you cooked it in a skillet and I love it. And it has a little bit of color and it has a little bit of that like crispiness onto them and I love it. I never thought in a million years my husband would like lamb chops but he loves it. He actually ate more and baby Johnny was going crazy on this lamb chop and I'm very happy that I did it. Even though it's on the pricier side, you can get a, a huge steak for whatever the price that I bought it for, but they say lamb chops are very good for you and it's good for kids. So if you're trying to go organic, make sure you eat more lamb chops. And I flipped it and I make sure everything is looking, everything is looking organically and everything is looking juicy. I don't know what I'm talking about, but you guys bear with me. And this stuff was paired with mashed potato and some broccoli, some of my organic broccoli. I know you're gonna see the video, you're gonna say, Naja, when did you go organic? I am just trying to eat better. I buy organic but not on mo mostly basis i buy certain stuff organic but now i'm trying to go full organic and it is not for the week it is too pricey but we're gonna do it let's see how long we're gonna last being organic but and i flipped it up to let it cook for another five minutes with no disturb we're not gonna touch it it's not gonna burn it's not gonna do nothing just leave it and this is it after the five minutes both sides are cooked and i'm just gonna transfer it onto my pan and it's ready to be served and at this point my mashed potato my broccoli is all ready you can see all the mess in the back it was ready and it was ready to be served and the boys were hungry and john said wow i never thought i would like lamb chops but i love it baby thank you for making it and thank you for letting us go organic because i said it and you just jump onto it like i'm a follower when it comes to my husband i'll jump to anything he says i don't care how high i have to jump but Let's get it in there and let's keep going. Like this lamb chops is one of the best lamb chops I've ever had. Even though I have lamb chops when I go on vacation, but I never really make it like this and I eat lamb chops. Now John loved this lamb chop and I'm very happy. And this is how I served my plate. Because the boys were eager to go eat their food. So this is my plate and this is how it was served. So let me know what kind of organic recipe you want me to make. And I'll be happy to make it because I enjoyed it. See you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you. Bye.